let's talk about the diaphragm and the muscles of respiration. The diaphragm is the primary muscle used for inspiration in pediatric patients because the other surrounding muscles are also immature and mostly inactive. The angle of insertion in infants is more horizontal than in older children and adults. The young child's diaphragm has a lower content of high endurance muscle fibers, putting at a higher risk of fatigue. If the function of the diaphragm is impaired, the ventilation is going to be compromised. Now, air moves in and out of the lungs due to changes in pressure gradients created by the movement of the chest wall and the use of the chest wall muscles. Inspiration is an active process. It requires energy. During inspiration, the diaphragm, intercostal muscles, and accessory muscles are used to bring the air into the body. When you expire or breathe out, this is a passive action. It can involve active use of abdominal muscles, for example, during a cough. In infancy, the intercostal muscles are inactive and poorly developed, so they aren't much help in the setting of respiratory distress. The abdominal muscles are going to mature and help stabilize the rib cage around three to four months of age. But again, before that age, these muscles are of little help, and that's why young babies can do really poorly in the setting of respiratory compromise.